It's sure a pleasure to see all the Park Avenue swells rubbing elbows with the hobo hoi polloi. <laughs> Yeah, you folks remind me of my favorite dinner. Soup and fish mixed with a lot of crumbs. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, the beautiful, gracious lady who made this evening possible, Miss Greer Garson. You know, many, many years ago, Oh, in 1897, to be exact, a little girl wrote a letter to the editor of the New York Sun. And I think one of the nicest things we can all remember at Christmas time is that little girl's letter and the editor's reply. Shall I read it to you? My oh, goodness. please. Thank you. Dear editor, I am eight years old, and some of my little friends say there is no Santa Claus. Now, Papa says, if you see it in the sun, it's so. Please tell me the truth. Is there a Santa Claus? Virginia O'Hanlon, 115 West 95th Street. Virginia, your little friends are wrong. They have been affected by the skepticism of a skeptical age. They do not believe except what they can see, and they think nothing can be which is not comprehensible to their little minds. And all minds, Virginia, whether they be men's or children's, are little. In this great universe of ours, man is a mere insect. He's an ant in his intelligence, compared with the intellect capable of grasping the whole of truth and knowledge. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. He exists as certainly as love and generosity and devotion exist and you know that they abound and give to your life its greatest beauty and joy oh how dreary would be this world if there were no santa claus almost as dreary as if there were no virginias where there'd be no childlike faith then no poetry no romance to make tolerable this existence we should have no enjoyment except in sense and sight the eternal light with which childhood fills the world would be extinguished. Not believe in Santa Claus? Why, you might as well not believe in fairies. Or you might get your papa to hire men to watch in all the chimneys on Christmas Eve to catch Santa Claus. But even if they didn't see Santa Claus coming down, what does that prove? Nobody sees Santa Claus, but that is no sign that there is no Santa Claus. The most real things in this world are those that neither children nor men can see. Did you ever see fairies dancing on the lawn? Hmm? Well, no. No, of course not. But that's no proof that they are not there. Nobody can conceive or imagine all the wonders there are unseen and unseeable in this world. You know, you tear apart the baby's rattle. You tear apart the baby's rattle to find out what makes the noise inside, and you can see it. But there's a veil covering the unseen world, which not the strongest man who ever lived, nor even the united strength of all the strongest men who ever lived, can tear apart. Only faith, fancy, Poetry, love, romance can push aside that curtain and view and picture the supernal beauty and glory beyond. Is it all real? Ah, Virginia, in all this world, there is nothing else real and abiding. No Santa Claus, thank God he lives and he lives forever. A thousand years from now, Virginia, nay, ten times ten thousand years from now, he will continue to make glad the heart of childhood.
Wasn't she wonderful, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> oh, I thought she'd like to know that we have collected $8,000 for the orphans, plus $2.39 worth of cigar butts, which will go on sale in the lobby on your way out, along with my jams and jellies. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd just like to join with Freddie and all his other friends and thanking you so much for coming out tonight. You're very good sports. Yes. What's next? Now, for the first time on any stage and possibly the last, the team of Freeloader and Garson. <clears throat> okay, Garson and Freeloader. <laughs> We just made a barrel of money Maybe you think we look funny But we'll give it a go Closing the show side by side You can bet you'll be getting your jollies Here at the Freeloader Follies Cause you're able to see Carson and me Side by side If we the way we harmonize There is one more thrill remaining That's gonna open your eyes Fred Astaire has no reason to worry That goes for Catherine Murray So, so we're taking a chance Doing our dance Side by side You missed the show. It was good. I was doing some last-minute shopping for someone who gave me the nicest Christmas I ever had. Oh. Freddy, come on in. Well, sir, you should have... <laughs> Grandma, you've got the real spirit of Christmas. You've swiped somebody's whole Christmas dinner. <laughs> Somewhere tonight, there's a Park Avenue family eating at the Audemars. <laughs> <laughs> Take my wrap, Freddy. Oh, beautiful fur piece, a thread bear. <laughs> well, here's to you, Freddy, a great guy. You should feel very proud to know that you did a wonderful deed in the true spirit of Christmas by making it such a, such a happy occasion for so many others. God bless you. Thank you. But I think we should toast Weir Garson. She's the wonderful lady that made it all possible, and the one that did the good deed. And I think we should toast you too, because you're the one that made the toast possible. You stole the champagne. <laughs> <laughs> to two of the most lovely ladies I have ever met, you and Weir Garson. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Freddy. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. 